Hi, my name is Brian, and uh, I'm here because I want to show you the proper way to land a Cirrus aircraft. Um, step one is we want to... No, uh, so a lot of people think that Cirrus are not reusable aircraft, uh, and I'm going to show today that they are actually uh, not just a, a one-and-done type of aircraft. You can actually land the plane and then use it again. Uh, multiple times actually, it's, it's, uh, it's a, it's a multi-use plane, it's not as uh, disposable as uh, most non-serious pilots uh, would have you believe. I'll also uh, show you some of the other features of the Cirrus that uh, other Cirrus pilots uh, may not have, uh, may not be sharing with the non-Cirrus world. Um, one of the nice features that uh, most Cirrus pilots probably won't tell you uh, is uh, we have a button here that allows me to uh, auto-tune my, uh, my radio calls, so if I want to say Diesel traffic to the square mile, to the south, in the three fires, oh, You're not going to find that in your Cessna. So, uh, it's a very, very popular feature all serious pilots know about. Uh, good feature. Traffic seven miles, same altitude, opposite direction. So the airplane is going to try to talk to you. Please consider it, caps. It's very verbose and chatty and it says a lot of things. None of that's very important. We just want to fly our runway heading because we want to do a beautiful landing. So here what we're looking at, these are uh, the steam gauges and they're, they're called steam gauges because they are actually powered uh, by water. They're being sprayed onto the engine and uh, that powers the gauges. If we were to lose the engine, all these gauges are gone. But the uh, gauge will probably type one three runway, turning left base, runway one seven gauge. But that's why Sirius put in this TV here. Uh, this is the TV. And it does a lot, it's got a lot of different channels. Okay, so uh, to to one area, we're going to die. Um, okay, a lot of people will criticize the, the Sirius pilot saying that uh, you know, they fly the magenta line, but, but what you don't know is this three magenta lines. That's not, you can't, you, don't, you can't just follow that. you got to follow all three of them. It's a very, very complicated process. Uh, so that's, that's a challenge. And then, uh, yeah, that's the hardest part. But I mean, uh, it does have an autopilot, so it's going to follow it. Uh, the side stick is here. I don't know how to use that. I'm not going to touch it. Um, but it does something. And there's, there's buttons here, and there's buttons here. But, uh, so this is, you pretty much can fly as serious now that you've seen this much. But now the, the other part is the, the little landing, and I'm going to call it a landing because we're, we're going to land. Uh, but we're going to land the right way. All right, we're down now to 3,800 feet, which is a good height for we are awfully low. landing. Are you ready to use Cirrus Airframe Parachute System? Now, I don't know what this thing's telling me, or really any of these things, but I'm off my line, so I'm, I know I'm probably going to die. With All three of the lines. So here we are, we're at 4,000 feet, and we want to go ahead and make our, our radio call. And uh, since we're flying a Cirrus, we don't, we're, we're pretty important to our radio call. You want to make this, uh, you, don't want, you don't want to take up a lot of air time making your radio call. You're a Cirrus pilot, you're important, you just make the call. So I'll just make this call. Gainesville traffic, Cirrus, 24 mile final, full stop. All right, so I made my radio call. Now I'm, uh, I'm good to land. Because uh, everyone knows I'm on final. It's a 20, 24 mile final. That's standard. And uh, really, no more radio calls. We get like this guy's talking. Why? Why? So um, we're about to enter the traffic pattern, uh, and I like to enter at a, at a solid hundred and uh, uh, I don't know how to read that. It looks like we're going in the hundred. That's good. I just now. This now makes you go faster and slower. My friend Kim showed me that. Uh, so that's good. It looks like everything's fine. Except these, 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 these lines are all wrong. So, now this is the part that no one's going to believe and they're going to think this is Photoshop. But we've actually, we're down uh, almost to pattern altitude at an airport. Uh, Pull the chute. Pull the red handle now. Damn it. This is insanity. And we're we're over over flying the field. 
uh, above pattern altitude. What could you possibly be thinking? The engine's still running. Uh, there is a shutdown procedure on the checklist. It's, it's not just an auto, auto shutdown. I don't know what, what the plane's uh, saying to me. It's very chatty, like I said. There's the runway. There's my friend Mike and his Cessna. I'm going to take him for a ride. Red handle has not been pulled yet. This is not Photoshop. All right, there's pattern altitude. My God, man, what the hell is wrong with you? Oh God, We're getting lower. the humanity. Looking good, seems looking great. I can see my shadow. Uh, and I'm still moving forward. Alright, 120 knots, beam the numbers. Half flat. Alright, fuel pumps on. 100 knots. Make our base turn. Right or wrong, I tend to oval it a bit. Ted, are you watching? That red handle has not been pulled. Engine's still running. Full flat. 80 knots. Traffic. Traffic. That means it's going to take me longer than planned to get home, I think, because the highway uh, is congested. It is a very advanced uh, aircraft. And uh, so in theory, the, the plane should be, should be reusable uh, at, this, at this point. Uh, right now, in theory, one could take right back off and fly again and land again.